experts say more heavy rain more often and get ready for even worse from named storms and hurricanes. The experts also warn our infrastructure needs to change to keep up. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and tells us what she's found. Gina? Over 25 years teaching weather at UH, Atmospheric Sciences Department Chair Stephen Musinger has seen big storms and floods come and go. But he says what used to be rare is becoming more frequent, and all the engineering to withstand it needs to be rethought. For those people who were flooded, uh, you know, this, uh, this past weekend, I mean, I feel sorry for them, but uh, they can expect that to happen again probably in the next five years. There'll be another flood. I would say that that's the return period for a storm like this. Whereas it used to be? Oh, maybe, you know, once in 10 years. But a much bigger problem is if we have a hurricane, because then you'll have the flash floods, plus the high winds, plus a storm surge. And if we don't harden our infrastructure for the possibility of having a hurricane hit uh, Honolulu, then I think we're doing our society a disservice. Honolulu's Office of Climate Change, Sustainability and Resiliency is charged with studying how best to do that in a race against time. What is changing that, that we, we can't sustain these, even just these heavy rains, let alone a named storm or a hurricane? Well, there's two reasons, and they're tied together. So as the sea level rises, it makes it harder for the rains that we do get to fall out to the ocean. So really, I mean, what's happening is it's getting harder and harder for these big rain events to actually drain as the sea level rise comes up, right? There's no place for it to go. Um, the other thing is that these rain events are getting bigger and bigger. So what we're seeing is less rain over time, but when it does come, it comes in these big downpours. We'll have to be taking a look at that and seeing what are the things that we've, you know, you accepted over time that really don't work going forward in the future. That's everything from how roads, bridges, and drains are planned, whether homes near shores or culverts will need setbacks or stilts, tackling the massive task of keeping storm water from overwhelming sewage lines, which was one win in the East Oahu storm. We didn't see any sewer breaks. Um, and so you get this big rain, and for the system to hold up, it shows that the investments that we're doing now are starting to pay off. Um, there's another you know, sewer uh, program over uh, in Kaneohe that's actually designed to hold the um, rainwater in these big events, if it can, in a tunnel that, to release it a little bit by a little bit later. So these are the kind of things that we really need to start uh, designing in now. The State Department of Transportation has been taking a look at redesigning coastal highways prone to flooding that hasn't been a problem with Kalaniana-Ole Highway, though, and the state says the culverts near the highway were clear. Is it an area that you think the experts will go, go look back at and see why, what happened there, and what, what can be avoided in the future? Well, possibly. I mean, anytime you have an event like this, there's after-action events and meetings that take place to determine if anything can or should be changed. Now, both the city and the state tell us it was just too much water, too fast for the existing drainage infrastructure. We'll follow up on any big changes that can be made there and how soon. Joe, back to you.